What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyo back with another video. Today's video, um, well, actually, this is actually a requested video. So I asked Instagram any requested videos, and I got like a whole list of videos that people want to see. So this is one that I picked first. Um, I have plenty of videos that I'm going to do. So um, this is one I picked. And somebody asked, what indicator would you use if you were trading supply and demand? Like, like which ones? And I only really got two, I'm gonna be honest, because at the end of the day, you don't need indicators and supply and demand is really looking at price so you don't really need any indicators but for people that just want to have something extra or something that they can use to try to filter out supply and demand setups or um try to enhance supply and demand setups this is what i would do honestly so um it's only really two indicators um the first one is moving averages but it's the 50 sma okay so this one right here this is one this is one that I will use the 50 SMA now it don't have to be the color change one um, the CC stand for color change you don't have to use color change any SMA will be perfectly fine but I noticed that the 50 SMA um, it kind of respects it in a way so if you're looking at this area right here this is aggressive selling this is on GU um, it's aggressive selling and then it came back into that area you see the 50 SMA is literally right there if price don't want to hold, it's going to blast with that SMA, okay? I'm going to show you some more examples, but this is just like a perfect example of a supply setup and the SMA is literally right there blocking it. Now, don't get me wrong. The move averages is always slow. Don't get me wrong. Like this is, we know move averages or indicators in general are lagging, okay? But this is something that I noticed that it constantly bounces off of. If it really want to break, it's going to break through that SMA off rip. But if, if it holds and it start wicking, or, or candles are, are closing above it, but it don't want to explode above it, then it's going to drop, okay? And we already got structure being broken with the SMA above it, more confluence to take the sale, okay? Um, let me find some more setups so y'all can really see how accurate this is, because one setup is just not gonna do. Okay, so we got aggressive buying right here, aggressive buying right here, so we got demand, and you see the candles, the candles, um kept wicking but it didn't close below it kept wicking never closed below it held so since it held and since i got the color change we're saying um it is green like once price stay above it it's gonna be green if it stay below it's gonna be red and it just kept closing above it that's confirmation that it don't want to drop so that's something that um would have worked out in your favor in this situation um let me see because i was definitely back testing this like weeks ago and this stuff actually works I'm not gonna lie but again, we still basing it off of supply and demand. Don't get me wrong. Like we, we not doing too much. Like right here, you see how this demand area, this demand area, aggressive buying came back to this area. The, the 50 SMA is clearly saying it's a downtrend. That's why I said, um, uh, we know that this stuff is lagging. So if you was basing all your entries off the 50 SMA, you know, for a fact, you're going to be missing counter trend moves like this. If this is on a, a short term downtrend and this may be a, um, a one hour or four hour demand up in this area, but you're not gonna be confident to take this because you got the mover average at the top. So um, just be wary of that if you wanna use the 50 SMA. Let me uh, keep finding some, cause I definitely saw some. Oh, I didn't touch right there. Okay, perfect, right here. So we got aggressive selling right here. This is a supply and it dropped. If it would've, if it, any of these candles close above it, it would be invalid in the supply box is literally right there. So that would give me confirmation to like, okay, we already under the 50 SMA and it's waking off of the 50 SMA. Okay, cool. Like, let me take this. Now, when I when I show y'all the, uh, the second indicator, it's gonna really help as far as both of them, using both of them, honestly. Uh, let me see. And, it's, it's, and it, this stuff is nothing new. Like, this is nothing new. This is just for people that just wanna slap some type of indicators on. Like, again, you do not need no indicators, but this is a requested video, so. Me. I'm gonna try to help somebody out. Okay, right here, boom. So we have aggressive selling from this area. Aggressive selling, and it started dropping. When it came up, we got the 50 SMA lily right there. It it was wicking, and then it closed a little bit above. It didn't explode through it, 
and it didn't explode through your supply box. So since it didn't explode through that um, 50 SMA and it's holding on it, that's more confirmation to take that sale. Once you start um, selling, you can sell right there and then boom, you can take that sale. So um, I wanna show some more examples for sure because I know people gonna be like, bro, like this, nah, bro. The move average is too slow, but I'm telling you, bro, some move averages can help you in a way, like for sure. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Okay, right here, perfect. So we have another supply area right here. We have another supply area. And when it got to that area, what is in front of it? Right there, it's a 50 SMA lily right there. If it if it don't, if it blasts through it, like say, say if you do something like this, it came up and then it like closed like up here. If it closed like up here, bro, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't. It literally wicked right off of it and then it started dropping. That's extra confluence, like for sure. What we got? Let me see. Uh, no, no confluence. This stuff is not gonna happen every single day. Look, look at this, man. Beautiful. Another one. We have 50 SMA right there. Supply box drops. Come back into it. What we got sitting right in front of it. We got the 50 SMA literally sitting right in front of it. Again, it bounced right off of it. Dropped again. So, and then say if you took this uh, demand area right here, say if you took this demand and you see that you're heading towards the 50 SMA, understand that price could bounce right off of that and then start dropping. So that's just something to uh, think about. But definitely like I will put the 50 SMA on and see what exactly is going on. Um, NAS 100 threw a beautiful setup. What was that uh, this week? Actually, well, that's actually a beautiful setup too. This is a beautiful setup, but this is um, actually the New York Stock Exchange, so I wouldn't have traded this. But just see how it reflected off of the 50 SMA. No candles are um, closing below it majorly. It literally bounced right off of it. Boom, you could have took that buy. But again, that's still risky. But um, I'm, I'm really referring to this setup right here that um, I called out to the group. Um, like, literally right there. Like, aggressive buying came back to the area. The 50 SMA is literally right there. Boom, bounced off of it. Could have taken that little buy, that quick little scout. Boom. So that's that's the first indicator. Okay, the first indicator that I would consider as far as taking supply and demand setups would definitely be the 50 SMA. Um that's just something that I've noticed that that works. You can use it's it's plenty of moving averages, but me personally, the 50 SMA definitely respects um, price action very well, and um, I just I just like it. I'm not gonna lie. Now, let's turn it up a notch. Let's go back to GU because GU have been throwing a lot of good setups this week again, and um, let's just get into it. So the next indicator is the divergent indicator aka the rsi i like the diverge indicator it's kind of the same thing but you, you catch my drift so if you got a supply and demand and it's showing divergence that's powerful okay i already made it i already made a video like a whole year ago about divergence um i don't use divergence like that but again this is strictly for people that want to add to supply and demand setups Okay, so if you want to add to it, slap the divergence indicator on or RSI, doesn't really matter. And just pay attention to what happens when you see a supply setting up and what the RSI is looking like. So we got, we got aggressive selling. This is supply right here. And if we put an arrow where the supply started from to where price, what was the reaction when it got into the box? And then let's look at the RSI and line that up where the supply started at and what happened when it got to that area. Let me stretch this out so this can be more clear. So let's look at this. I mean, you should know what the divergence is. If you don't know, go back to my divergence video. It's like 10 months ago, or no, it was really a year ago. A year ago, and you will understand exactly what divergence is. It's not hard. This is not rocket science, and this is nothing new. People have been trading with divergence all the time. But again, this is for people that want to add indicators to supply and demand. So you see, as soon as it got into that box, it's not agreeing with price. So that's extra stuff that you can add onto the supply and demand. Supply and demand is already powerful itself, but then when you mix divergence with it, it makes it even more powerful. So um, this is something that's like, can increase the chances even more. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go through some setups. I'm gonna go through some setups. You're just gonna see for yourself. Okay, what we got right here, boom. 
what we got right here. This is a low probability supply, so I don't really want to talk about that. Um, let me see. Okay, right. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a good one. Okay, so again, we're just gonna base everything off of. No, we're gonna keep it on. We're gonna keep it on. So we got aggressive selling come out this area, and look at price. Price is descending, but the RSI is going up. Okay, so that's divergence off rip. So that increases the chance of this dropping, okay? So when it got into that box, we're waiting for price action to start rejecting that area to sell. And then we got divergence on top of that. Come on. Like, I honest, in my opinion, I'm gonna be real with y'all, divergence is probably more powerful than moving averages, without a doubt. And honestly, divergence is probably the most powerful indicator itself, to be honest, because it's, it's like a price action indicator. You know what I'm saying? Like once these disagree, it's gonna go, it's gonna reverse. So let me uh, find some more setups. Find some more setups. Um, right here, here go another one. Now we just talked about this. Now now look how both of these indicators are um, increasing the chances of this winning. So we got the 50 SMA literally sitting right there, and we got divergence. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, and we already know supply and demand be hitting for the most part. Like anybody, bro, I don't I don't even have to say anything about supply and demand. It hits, bro. We be winning. So if you slap a 50 SMA on with divergence, bro, you're going to be like really taking the best possible setup. Now, don't get me wrong, bro. We're not going to win them all. I'm not going to sell you no dream. No, you're going to lose. But if you filter out, like say if you want to only take supply and demand setups with divergence, that's increasing the chances even more. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see. Let me see some more supply and demand setups. Uh, okay, right here, boom. So we got aggressive buying, aggressive buying, and then look at look at what price did. Price. Um, start going up this made a higher low and this made a lower low boom that's high probability right there just off of that divergence and we above the 50 sma like go go back test this yourself you don't you don't even have to believe me like you know what i'm saying don't don't listen to anything i have to say just back test divergence with supply and demand and back test um when supply and demand hits when the 50 sma is literally sitting right in front of us, the um the entry or it's bouncing off of it when it gets to the entry just, just back test it yourself and you're gonna you and you can you can make up the decision if this stuff works or not you know what i'm saying uh let me see what we got right here no i don't like that one that one kind of ugly that one didn't have no divergence mm. okay right here boom now this, now this is a beautiful setup so we already below the 50 sma we got aggressive selling come out this area right here and look at the rsi and look at price so we got this going down and then this remember line it up where the supply started at so the supply started right here this is where the order started at, and they started dropping it really hard and it came right back into that area and then boom again this is stuff that's nothing new but this is just a video for people that want to add enhanced supply and demand setups here you go you know what i'm saying like literally here you go um 50 sma and divergence you can use the divergence indicator or the regular rsi that's really all you need and 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 again the main indicator is price action the candlestick so it's just no fluff bro you won't even need none of this stuff but if you want to enhance it go ahead and slap that divergence indicator on and that 50 sma on and you're going to be filtering out all the the beautiful setups that you really love that you're going to want to load up the lots like bro i'm, I'm telling you bro so go back test this you don't got to believe me go back test it Slap the diverge indicator on the 50 SMA and see, um, is it really winning when you see divergence on it? But uh, that's all I got. Um, uh, comment below. No, really, just DM me if you got any requested video. Cause I'm just, I'm just making videos for y'all. Like whatever y'all want to see. Like you feel me? Cause I don't, I don't be having no desire to be making videos, honestly. So I, I ask y'all what y'all want to see. So um, that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.